Hi. <laughs> we have our little eater here. Yeah. Good afternoon. You're tuned into another episode of Welcome to the Guy Family. Wes and Ash here. And today's episode is going to be about baby led weaning. So to cap us off, we started baby led weaning at the six month period for Anaya. Uh, we originally started with purees, but we noticed that she was just swallowing it and not really working on her chewing skills. And my wife had a great idea to introduce her to baby led weaning so she can get used to picking up her food and working on her dexterity as well as introducing her to different textures that way she wouldn't have any food aversions. Mm -hmm. So initially we were a little reluctant to introduce her to these solids because she didn't have any teeth. Mm -hmm. And a lot of parents have this myth and this assumption that the baby needs teeth in order to chew food. This is wrong. As long as the baby is able to gum the food and you're able to put it in small mashable sizes, they're actually able to start this process sooner than you think. So I think at this point Ash is going to kind of talk about our process and how we diverged from purees and moved over to solids. Yep. So first thing we want to talk about is um, how Wesley and I both were CPR certified that really helped ease our anxiety going into solids because um, actually in both of our professions we had to take these courses and if you ever taken one you'd be surprised to know how hard you actually have to smack a baby's back when you're performing CPR. Um, I thought it would be much gentler so when I was in the class itself I remember the the aide telling me I had to hit the baby way harder and do the chest compressions harder so um, I think that really helped us both have less anxiety because we're like, yeah. oh, we're, we both know what to do if this ever happened. Um, which goes into the next part, which is knowing the difference between gagging and choking. So when baby is first learning how to eat, they are going to be gagging all the time. And at first, uh, Wesley, talk about how you felt. <laughs> yeah, it scared me for sure. I remember Anaya being introduced to eggs or oatmeal, I'm not sure, some type the of eggs. breakfast food. We did eggs first. And yeah, initially she made a loud gag sound like, mm. ah! and I was like, oh my god, I yeah. think we're doing this way <laughs> too soon, maybe we should slow down. But Ashley was super great with coaching me through it and letting me know that this is a natural process mm. for the baby to not only get used to the texture but to actually build that gag reflex exactly. because we're not born with it. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to think that it's an innate uh, capability that a baby is able to handle the food, go, go down their throat and esophagus easily, but this isn't true. You actually have to train that muscle and build it just like every other muscle in your body. Exactly. So we sat right in front of Anaya every time she ate and what would happen when she gagged is instead of scaring her, which is our initial reaction, like, oh my God, something's wrong. Um, we would coach her through it by showing her how to chew. We'd always say chew and I chew and really like stress the importance of us moving our jaw up and down and then she'd catch on. Mm. Yeah. Um, so it's really important that I watch her mm. eat and I encourage her to chew. Um, 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 let her know that, eh, that might be a little too much. So yeah, um, and I'm feeding her the lentils and the different sweet potatoes. <laughs> um, babies are really smart and we have to trust their instincts when it comes to baby led weaning. Uh, because Anaya knows how much food needs to be in her mouth. She'll spit out whatever she feels like is too much and she'll um, Like you said the reflexes are there for them to kind of stop their choking from gagging so um, Once we established all these different things we um, started baby led weaning by getting off the purees after the first two weeks um, our purees when we did do them were very chunky they were um, more thicker we'd have different bits of food in there that were still mashable so when we do the pear and broccoli there'd still be bits of the broccoli in there and chunkier pieces of pear um, we'd always start off with scrambled eggs that's a great way to start baby led weaning 
My famous eggs. Yeah. Yeah. And when we'd we'd put the onions in there, the peppers, um cilantro, cilantro spinach. And then we'd get the salt free seasoning and just mash it all up and feed it to her. Um with our baby led weaning process we do self feeding and then we also feed her ourselves. So there's no right or wrong way with that at least that's what we find because she's still able to figure out how to pick up the food off her tray which i do which takes time it doesn't just happen this first time we had to do a lots and lots of practice um even with my mom she'd be like she can't do it or you know let's just not give her this food because she doesn't seem to like it but it's all about introduction and continuing to um what's the word i'm looking for continuing to introduce those foods even though baby Exposure, that's what I'm looking for. The word exposure. You have to continuously expose the baby for them to basically try it out. get used to the food and mm -hmm. the textures because every food tastes different and has different aromas. Yep. And their taste buds are developing. have to develop, mm -hmm. yeah, around these foods. If you do it too late, they might have a food aversion, which is why you see many toddlers like spinning out their vegetables and they refuse to eat it. It's because it wasn't introduced earlier on and they haven't developed that gag reflex for that food so it just naturally comes out and then it's going to be a battle right if you don't want to have a battle with your kid i encourage all parents to start this as early as possible so what we have here is one cup oats one cup water and i'm Um, boiling up to this level I add in blueberries and chop up some strawberries in there and then I add in some unsalted pure Irish butter you got to make sure it's unsalted that's for some good fats in there and to make it a little bit more flavorful so this is the finished product this is the hungry hungry baby and this is going in the mouth. Oh. <laughs> yeah. She always acts unsure, but she likes it. Choo choo choo. Yeah. So yeah, I like this because it's still chunky, it still gives her texture in her mouth, and it makes her still chew and do all that. Ready? She don't like the camera in her face. <laughs> Yum yum. Um, so some of the food that we love are going to be introduced in the recipes that we put together. Um, we love working with quinoa, we love working with lentils, and we love working with oatmeal. We feel those grains are the base of most of our foods because they provide a lot of nutritional benefits. They're powerhouse foods. Yeah. Um, we're scared about constipation a lot, so we make sure that uh, the foods are either blended with the quinoa or any type of pear, plum, vegetable that kind of helps regulate her because obviously when we're introducing these more solid foods, babies tend to get backed up too, so we'd always watch out for food. So for the lentils, we're using tomato, peeled potato, and a carrot. Now the water is boiling, we add half a cup of lentils. Half a teaspoon of turmeric. Water is boiled. You want to turn it down to a simmer. And then you want to add some butter. Here is the veggies that's going to go in there. So that's half a carrot, half a potato, and some tomatoes. You want to stir it all up and keep the stove on simmer. Now I'm chopping some spinach to add to the lentils. And we did add more water because the lentils were still hard, so you kind of have to eyeball it. You have to add more water to the mix. 
So we are going to roast some veggies for Anaya. We have some squash, carrots, sweet potato, half a potato, some more squash, tomato, oh, I already said that, and bell pepper. So the tomato, bell pepper, and squash, that's going to be for a homemade pasta sauce. Um, if you notice, all jarred pasta sauces that are ready made have over 200 milligrams sodium, so we don't want to give that to a baby, so I just found this way is much easier and healthier and yummier. These are just great finger foods. They're cut in zigzags. You can get them at Trader Joe's or any grocery store that has this in their vegetable section. And then the carrots, sweet potato, and potato will be other finger foods as well. We'll roast for about 25 minutes. So this is the tomato coming out of the oven roasted. We have to peel the skin. And we're also going to be peeling the skin off this bell pepper. And then we are going to throw it in the blender with some nutritional yeast, the squash, and some salt-free seasoning to make her pasta sauce. Here's the pasta sauce all done. Nice and blended up. I put it in this neat mason canning jar because it keeps it nice and fresh so I can use it throughout the week when I make the pasta. The pasta is boiling. And then this is some Parmesan cheese. And I'm just going to put a tiny little sprinkle of because... Um, I like that it introduces her to dairy and then also the sodium level on it is good. It's 65 milligrams per two teaspoons. I'm not even going to put a full teaspoon. This is going to be a little bit sprinkled on when I serve it to her for some flavor. So all of these are great options for pasta. We've got some Trader Joe's, some black bean, and some spinach. So we are making a nice quinoa. We have two thirds cup of water and I'm adding in a fourth a cup of red quinoa. So it's important to now put it on simmer because the water is lowering in the pot. Alright, so the quinoa is done. And I added some avocado and roasted sweet potato to that. And what I like to do is I like to ball it up so that she can eat little bite-sized pieces. So I'm adding a little bit more quinoa to that. And I kind of just mash it up till it soaks it. So these are all the quinoa balls mashed together with sweet potato and avocado. Um, I really don't know why I did it like this, I'm just extra like that, but you don't have to ball them up. You can just serve it mashed up together, but I like this. It's bite sized and I just plop it on her high chair and she kind of picks it up and grabs it. So as you can see, Anaya is... You know, moving around her food on her tray, picking up little pieces and self-feeding. But this didn't come, like, right away. We had to introduce her foods over and over and over again on her tray. Most of the time, she'd pick it up and kind of squeeze it, feel the texture, drop it. A lot of, a lot of the time, it'd be everywhere but her mouth. But the thing about that is the more times she plays and gets exposure to it, the more the better she'll be successful because as you can see now she's able to do it and it just took exposure so I really do think it's important to continue to do that if you want baby to self feed um, and we do it hand in hand I also still feed her through the spoon the lentils or quinoa or whatever I mash up right so once again uh, she's doing baby led weaning this she's at eight months we started at six months, and I think we're, we got the hang of things. Um, I was totally scared of it. I did not think we could do it. Scared of ch choking. Uh, I thought she needed to have teeth before we could even start. And Anaya's doing pretty good, right? Yeah? Yeah? So yeah, you kind of just let her go and I watch, yeah. making sure that she's yeah. doing alright. 
She knows how much to put in her mouth. She knows what's her limit. She'll spit out whatever she doesn't need. She just is picking up the pasta, trying to figure it out. Look at her little fingers trying to grab it. It's slippery, but yep, look, she got it. And look, in the mouth. And she's gumming it down. And I only give her a few pieces so she doesn't get overwhelmed and she can pick. And then it looks like she put it back down. <laughs> so she's exploring. That was pretty good though. I'm pretty proud of her. Oh, and one just went overboard. So don't be led astray. Don't be afraid to try. And if you need any tips, you can hit us up at Welcome to the Guy Family mm -hmm. on Instagram as well as our email, welcome to the guy family at gmail.com. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy this episode on baby led weaning. Yep, thank you. Peace. <laughs>